top left of the plate is a schematic representation of the hyperfine transition of hydrogen, which is thought to be the most abundant element in the universe. Below this is a small vertical line to represent the binary digit 1. This spin-flip transition of a hydrogen atom from electron state spin up to electron state spin down can specify a unit of length, wavelength, 21 centimeters, as well as a unit of time, frequency, 1420 megahertz. Both units are used as measurements in other symbols. Note that since the plaque is 229 millimeters wide, the actual unit of length could have been depicted, although it wasn't. The radial pattern on the left of the plaque shows 15 lines emanating from the same origin. 14 of the lines have corresponding long binary numbers, which stand for the periods of pulsars, using the hydrogen spin-flip transition frequency as the unit. Since these periods will change over time, the epoch of the launch can be calculated from these values. The length of the lines show the relative distances of the pulsars to the sun. A tick mark at the end of each line gives the z-coordinate perpendicular to the galactic plane. If the plaque is found, only some of the pulsars may be visible from the location of the discovery. Showing the location of origin with 14 pulsars provides redundancy so that the Earth's location can be triangulated, even if only some of the pulsars are recognized. The 15th pulsar line on the plaque extends to the far right, behind the human figures. This line indicates the Sun's relative distance to the center of the galaxy. Thank you.